Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this series of videos, we are going to discuss about Tableau interview scenarios. And as a part of that, today we are going to discuss two important uh, scenarios that were asked in Genpact. Okay, and the interview happened in the month of August. So to start off, the first question that was asked was how to find new and old customers. And the second question was like, I have Jan, February, Mar March as my months, and I want Jan in green, Feb in red, and March in green again, and April in red like that. So alternate months, I want in one color. That was the requirement. How will you write logic for that? That was the requirement. So now let us start doing that. So first one is how to find a new customer. So for that, what I'm doing is first I'm trying to find out when was the first order uh, first time the order was placed by the customer okay so that way i can know when did he placed his first order so for that i'm writing my name as first time orders and i'm using an lod expression okay so i'm using fixed lod fixed of customer name so whenever it is written as this fixed of customer name we can read it as for each customer okay fixed customer name means for each customer what is the minimum order date that i want to find out i'm closing it okay and what did we miss we miss maybe we missed a closing bracket here and click on apply okay now this is the date field that tableau has created i'm going to write or drop it right next to it now you see we are getting year here okay now we need to match it with the year so if the year is matching to the current year then it is our new customer okay understood like suppose if i'm placing an order in my 2022 then i'm new customer but suppose if i'm placing order somewhere in 2018 or 2019 then i'm part of the system from that law okay so it means i'm i'm old customer so there based on that we need to categorize so what I'm doing is I'm using a calculation here, new or existing customer. Okay. So what I'm writing if uh, year of, so I'm trying to match year of my first time here, first time orders. So I'm only taking year because I don't need anything else. Year is equal to, so I need to find out max year that is there in our database, right? With respect to that only, we can decide whether he is new customer or old. So for that, what I'm doing, I'm using max of, so first I'm writing year of order date, okay, which will give us year of order date. And then I'm trying to find out max here, okay. And this I want on the whole. So I'm simply using an LOD expression, which will give us the maximum value. So if it is matching, then he is our new customer else he is old customer for us and it okay calculation is valid let us check i'm going to take this and drop it next to our this thing now if you see this aaron has placed order in 2018 so he is our old customer right so but let us scroll down and i'm scrolling it with respect to this so this Tony has placed order in 2021. So which is our maximum year in the database. So that way he is the new customer. So now I can filter it with respect new or old customer. You see, I'm getting two wells. So if at all I want to find out who is a new customer, I can click on this. And these are our new customers who have placed order in the year 2021 only. Okay. So that way we can solve this question. Next question is, I have months like this january february month and alternate months i want in one color that is the requirement okay so for that what i'm doing is first uh, i'm converting or getting month from my date so for that i'm using a calculation again and i'm getting date name okay date name of month i want from my order date okay so let us see what will be the result of this. I'm taking this. Okay, it is a dimensional field. And when I drop it, this is how we got the values. Okay, so month we are displaying. Okay, 
now what i'm doing is i'm taking or creating another field called as month number okay sorry here my month number i need okay and what i'm doing is here so date part of my month sorry date part of month of order date i'm doing okay now this will return the month but in the string format apply okay so i'll convert it into dimension okay and when i drag and drop this here you see we are getting all the 12 months here right now our intention is this january should be in one color march should be in one color april should be in one color like this so there are multiple ways we can do that okay so i can write a case statement on month okay so let us see both of them first i am writing a case statement here simple so uh, month format i'll write okay and i'm using case of month simple okay so when it is january then so then i'll call it as uh, let's say we'll categorize as one okay when it is february then it is uh, like say zero for me so like this we need to write for all the months that are there so i'm going to write for four and we'll observe how it is behaving okay and march i'm writing and i'm writing april okay and i'm just ending it so only two values will come out from this either one will get or zero will get okay you can light it like this or you can also write green color here whatever you feel good you can write it that way okay but just to simplify it i'm using it like this and click on apply okay now what i can do is again i can take this field and drop it okay so but before i do that i'm converting that to dimension and i'm dropping it on color shelf okay so i'll drop it in the label so when i drop it on color shelf it will give us the result so i'm dropping this as well now you see we got uh, some nulls are there because we didn't categorize but uh, once we categorize that also we will get all the numbers here okay so we can fix this by taking like say one is our green color and this is our red color and because this is not categorized i'm just graying out so now you see we are getting color now i can i can uh, just ignore this so we are getting the opposite colors here okay now this is one method and the other method is i'm going to create another calculation here i'm going to remove this from color and i'm going to click on show header and now what i'm doing is i'll remove this as well i'm going to write the month number okay so month number we already have right so month number i'm taking and dropping it here so we have one two three four twelve right so now what i am doing is i am just formatting this okay so simply we can write percentage of two here so when i do that what will happen each number of the month that it is generating like say one by two it will do okay and what is the percentage or the remainder of that it will try to find out so two by two means there is no remainder so it will come zero so when i divide it by three i'll get one as the remainder four months again zero 
so for every number month number it is dividing by zero and trying to get so simply like order even rule i am clicking on apply now you see one zero one zero we are getting okay now what i can do i can take this month number and drop it on color shelf we got that same thing i'm taking this and dropping on this okay so we got alternate months and simply i can hide this so this way we can create alternate colors okay so now you see january is in month one color february is in one color again march is in same same color as january and april in same as february so like that we can solve the solve this issue okay so that's it from my side in this video i hope you find this video useful if you find it useful don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you have a good day bye bye